but what's going on? So this one is going to be about, and I was doing part two about the NBA polls. This one is going to be about the NBA polls um, based on um, Russell Westbrook. Draymond Green voted as most overrated players. And where do I stand on it? Well, let me start with Draymond first. <laughs> Draymond, the pros and cons. The pros is that when he's engaged and he's full of activity and he, and they're running at the mouth and just playing ball. He's an integral part of what Golden State does. He can be just as important as Andre Kadaya and Sean, Sean Livingston when he's engaged. And he can flirt with being there with Curry, Clay, and Durant when he's there. However, when he's not there, he becomes a distraction. So it's a matter of will he be willing to be a happy link? And rolling with the Marcus Cousins and staying with how he balances his act out. That's the key. And I always say, when he's on point, he's one of the best six men, one of the best six men ever. When he's not on point, he's like the eccentric or the looseness of Kanye West, if you will, at times. Because he'll just ramble and go off and then it won't be cohesive. So Draymond, his acting and his tendencies and the way he's gone about things, has put him in an awkward position. But when he's on point, he's a very important talent. It's just a matter of him being coherent and cohesive. As far as Russell Westbrook go, he's the new Mr. Martin Day Triple Double. Now, do I think he was as great as Oscar Robertson? No. I don't think he, because I think Oscar was more efficient and Oscar didn't have the non hand check and he didn't have the benefit of three point line and other factors. But I will say this of anybody, and step into yesterday, it would be Russell Westbrook because he's he's about as one of the closest players to a throwback player you get, the gritty, the gruntness. He has a, a Kobe mental vibe about him. He has that Allen Iverson take on take no prisoners attitude that he plays with, which works for and against him. Triple doubles are impressive the way he puts them up. I mean, he really puts them up. When you do a 20-20-20 game, that's mind-blowing. That's bananas. The downside to him is that sometimes it comes across like he's the first, dare I say, great NBA player. It looks like he's playing uh, 21 out there because he snatches rebounds, he snatches shots, he snatches this, and then he's burnt by the time he gets to the postseason. So that's been the knock against him. So both him and Draymond do have their shortcomings, and they do fall in. I think Draymond's is more because of how he acts considering his position where he's at with a team that's very talented and stacked on one of the best ran organizations I've seen the last 20 plus years. So his attitude and his flaws get him that tag. Russell's is because he just doesn't bring it in the postseason. He's kind of, and the other person that could qualify for that would be James Harden because until I see something postseason, they're just like paper champions. They're good for fantasy, but what do they do for reality? So, I kind of somewhat understand why I can see why Russell Westbrook and Draymond would get top heat for different reasons from most overrated, but it's still a bit of a stretch, especially when you consider that Russell Westbrook is doing something in uncharted territory. And, uh, and I still think he has, hasn't had the best coach. But what hurts him more than anything is that he once had Harden, but he more importantly wants having Kevin Durant as a sidekick. And I still don't feel he always properly uses Stephen Adams the right way. And he did have Victor Oladipo, too. So it's like, and you got Paul George. So it's like, hey, you got to put it together when you have these tag teams. Because you've had some pieces. You just haven't finished it. So anyway, that's my take about Russell Westbrook and Draymond Green. As voted by NBA poll, plays as the most overrated players in the league. Feel free to leave comments. Feel free to subscribe. And when that bell rings, that's a new take. And... Feel free to leave them comments and I'm out. Peace.